We want incoming demand. We don't want to chase people. And it's taken me a number of years to develop that philosophy. I wrote a book on it called Person of Interest. That's what I'll be teaching in week number two. Week three, this one, it gets down to tactical, very tactical. I got to create, I got to create leads and opportunities. There's about 12 different strategies that I use to generate thousands of leads for my business. If I was a financial advisor, if I was an insurance agent, if I was a real estate broker, if I was a health coach, no matter what I did for a living, here's what I would tell you. This is what I would be doing. Everything I'm currently doing. And I'm going to show you in week three. This is how I generate. This is how I used a book that I gave away for free to generate 3,000 leads. This is how I use my new book to generate 10,000 leads. This is how I use webinars to generate hundreds of leads. See, 1,550 people signed up for this event. 1,550 signed up for this event. That's 1,550 people to call, talk to, engage with. Okay? So, so I got to show you how to create a freaking leads machine that you got more than you can handle. My number one thing right now is hiring enough salespeople who can close all the deals. <laughs> That's a, I got a new problem. It's not a lead problem. It's a conversion problem. Okay. So that's in week number three, week number four, we move into the selling system. Most people do not have a structure, right? John, John said, I was thinking to myself, coach bird is half preacher and half psychologist. Now that is an interesting concept. Half preacher and half psychologist. The selling system is a system of actions. I wrote a book on this called Legacy Selling. And it was because in my third year of my business, I realized I don't have a system. Purpose of the business is to generate revenue by solving problems. I need to get out and move and circulate. So I started going, how do I circulate? Who do I talk to? What do I say? Well, I got my explanation of value. I'm generating leads. How do I move these leads from prospect to client, client to promoter, promoter to advocate? And I developed a system. I wrote a book on it. Okay. And most of my top clients that are earning uh, high incomes use this system. Insurance agents use it. Real estate people use it. Mortgage people use it. Financial advisors use it. It's a system of growth. And in week four, I'm going to break down that system. I'm going to show you how to, to move people through a selling system. Then in week five, confidence. But most importantly, conversion. The art of converting people who are interested in something to people who are taking action on something. Does no good to have a bunch of leads if you can't convert them. This is the number one problem, by the way, I'm seeing in real estate. I spoke last week at the radio and television experts. These are people spend a lot of money on radio and television. They're doing typically 600 transactions a year. I've been on phone calls with them all week. Here's what they say. Number one problem is conversion. Conversion means taking interest and converting it to action. Okay. So I'm coaching these people in, in, in what can you say to get someone to move and i have seven conversion points that i teach that is that is it's, it's like scripts i'm going to give you this is exactly what you say when somebody's interested this is exactly what you say to get a person across the finish line this is exactly how you say it and you're going to know are they in or are they out based on what i say i teach people to ask great discovery questions now now diane why did you call specifically Tell me a little bit more about what you're going to do. Have you looked at somebody else to do this? Like, 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 okay, then I got, I'm doing discovery right there, but then I got to move from discovery and conversing to conversions. A lot of people talk on the phone a lot. They don't convert people. Conversion is I got to take your interest and I got to get you to move. Okay. That is a skill. That's what I'm going to tackle that week. Then I move into follow-up. There's two problems with follow-up. You don't go the distance. Most people don't go the distance and you don't know the methodology. People do not know the methodology of follow-up. Purpose of follow-up is to help a person make a decision. 
The word decide means to kill something off. The word close, Tina, means to bring something to an end. So I'm following up with you today, Tina, to help you make a decision. I'm going to show you how I can solve this problem better than anybody else can, how based on our unique past and our unique experiences, we are uniquely qualified to solve this problem. And this is a lost art in today's society. Follow up and conversion. Follow up and conversion. What do I say when I follow up? I'm going to teach you step by step that, that, that week from the million dollar follow up. Then I'm going to move you toward doubling your productivity. Here's what I found. Once I had three kids, I'm like, man, I got I to gotta get a lot in during the day. And then I got to come home and have enough good energy left over for my kids. I got to get a lot done and I got to double my productivity. I don't have time to mess around. Back in the old days when I was single and I wasn't married, I could get home at nine o'clock at night. Didn't matter. I'm like, man, I need to be home at 530. I need to have dinner with my kids and my family. And I need to get a lot done. I need to run a multi-million dollar company during the day. And I need to go home and be dad at night. I need to be available. Okay. And so I started going, what are, what are strategies I could use to get twice as much done in a day? That's total high value. I was watching a show last night about billionaires. This guy had 94 billionaires in his cell phone. It's a real estate agent. And he was talking about how he is now representing billionaires on real estate deals. And he said, one of the things he said, he had seven habits of the billionaires that he was dealing with. One of them was they waste zero time. He said, even when they go to a restaurant, they don't even look at the menu. They sit down and they order the very first time the server comes over. Server walks over, they say, I'm ready to order. He said, they don't waste time on phone calls. They don't waste time on talking about things. He said, they primarily text and they say, this is what I'd like to do. I need you to go do it. Boom. That was one of the habits he had picked up from working with these people is they have figured out how to be super productive with their time. Okay. So I want to show you every tactic I use to get maximum done in a given day and go home and be a dad at night. Okay. And that's very important. Okay. Because in the old days, um, you know, I had to work on this. I was, uh, I mean, I could work, you know, almost every day, all day, every day. That's how I'm wired. Okay. So how do I double your productivity? And then the final piece of this is scaling. And scaling is taking a concept and multiplying the concept to an exponential level. How do you serve 10,000 people? How do you serve people all over the planet? How do you grow beyond your local market? How do you multiply something? How do you put a structure in place? How do you leverage people? Energy, technology, time. How do you systematize something? to scale something. See, back in the old days, we would have to call 1,500 people. Today, I can do a webinar and get 1,500 people. Okay, see, I could try to call you all day long. I could try to call Derek Holland all day long. I may not get him on the phone. I may not get, be able to t talk to him. He may be busy. What if I could get him to come to something because he's going to learn something valuable and I get to spend two days coaching him? He gets to test out co old Coach Burt, see, see what he brings to the table. Then he can make an informed decision on how I can help him move forward in his life. See, that's a showcase event. That is scaling something. So we use the webinar model a lot to coach people because it's, it's a scaled up concept. So who here believes if I installed, I'm gonna use that's a very intentional word. If I installed eight of these thought processes and structures into your business, that it is possible to double your production. How many of you believe if you got really good at these things, you could double your production?